Hey everybody, it's Seth from the middle of nowhere. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be unboxing EK's Fluid Gaming A240 Liquid Cooling Kit. Now this comes in three flavors. You can get an A120, which has a 120 millimeter radiator, the A240, which has a 240 millimeter radiator, or the A240G, which not only has a 240 millimeter, millimeter radiator, the other components such as the tubing, fittings, and pump, and reservoir, but also comes with a GPU block as well, and some extra fittings for that. So. Let's get into it. All right. Okay, first, we have some packaging. Next, we get to unbox bits. All right, we have an unbox here. We've got our first of two Vardar 120 millimeter fans. Our second fan. Instructions, I highly recommend um, reading through this before installing. Uh, EK is known for their instructions and how nicely they are laid out for you. All right, this I wonder if you're the radiator. Yep, all right. Okay. So we have our 240 millimeter radiator. It's got a nice fin density going on there. It is slim, so this should fit pretty much quite a variety of cases. Now this is an aluminum radiator, so do keep that in mind. Actually, everything about the uh, fluid gaming line is aluminum. So, no mixing metals. Got your screws for the radiator. Now for the good goodie box. This is where all the other fun stuff is gonna be. If I can get it open without destroying it. Aha, there we go. Okay, so we have a uni bracket. This will help you screw down your pump. More screws. Big old Allen wrench. And the box was in a box. It's our inception. Okay. Soft tubing. This is 10 uh, millimeter inner diameter, 13 outer. It's a nice size. Got some more brackets. These are CPU brackets by the looks of it. EK Supremacy Evo backplate. Nice. Uh, fan header fitting uh, cables. Set a cable. Ah, our pump and res combo. And the fittings are already screwed in there. Again, these are also aluminum fittings. Now, there is no heat sink on the pump, so that's okay. This is nice quality. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Let's keep moving on. Ah, the block itself, gosh, this is light. Fittings are already screwed in. These are G1 quarter fittings, by the way. Okay, get that into focus. Supremacy AX. Caution. Please remove before use. Now I'll leave it on. There you go. That is a nice aluminum block. Keep going. Some more goodies. Okay, we get a jumper for your power supply. This way you can turn on the pump without uh, turning on the rest of the system. Or, well, excuse me. You basically trick your power supply into thinking it's on or whatever. And this allows you to get the pump going. We have EK Cryofuel Clear. So it's concentrate. So you will need to buy some distilled water to go with this. And then if you are feeling adventurous, some dye. If you want to color your liquid. Some more cables. Some fittings. All right, EK ACF ALU fitting, 10 to 13 millimeter. It is black. So we're gonna have two of those. And, ooh, some thermal paste. There you go. This is not focusing very well. There you go. Um, nice little tube. EK TIM ectotherm. All 
right, well that seems to be it. This is a rather inclusive kit. I mean, I'd hope so for what it's supposed to do. This will get you started if you are interested in custom liquid cooling. Um, it costs the same price as most uh, 240 millimeter closed loops, such as those offered from Corsair and NZXT. I do have some thoughts on the whole fluid gaming line. And uh, I'd just like to go in that with you. So these are things you might want to take into consideration before buying it. As of now, there doesn't seem to be any real upgrade paths with this product if you want to expand your loop. By that, by expand, I mean add additional fittings, add a GPU loop, etc. You can buy the A240G, which comes with the GPU block, um, but if you don't, there are no options to buy that block separately or extra aluminum fittings. So if you want to buy more fittings or additional radiator or different GPU or CPU block, you have to find aluminum options as mixing metals can cause corrosion, so keep that in mind. There are no aluminum fittings from EK for hard tubing or drain ports or any other kind of fitting other than what's in the box, as I previously mentioned. If you bought the A120 or A240 and you wanted to add your GPU to the loop in the future, I saw no way to separately purchase the GPU block or additional fittings which come with the A240G. You can't use the DDC pump heat sink as the pump is not considered a DDC pump. I already asked customer, some customer support, um, so they said, yeah, you can't use that. Uh, but you can at least upgrade the reservoir. Okay, so if you want a taller one, you can go ahead and do that. So, however, the future for this product line might be brighter than the picture I'm painting so far, which is one where it's very much a closed system. You get what you get, and that's all you get. Okay. Uh, in response to a Facebook post I made, EK teased a future where more aluminum parts are possible. Of course, this statement is open to interpretation and is not a certainty. Finally, in my search efforts, I really haven't been able to find aluminum parts from known liquid cooling manufacturers. So if you do know of any aluminum parts, please comment and provide links in, uh, in the comments below. So then the obvious question becomes, why aluminum? It's not for better cooling as copper's capacity to conduct heat is about 60% greater than that of aluminum, so copper can remove much more heat more quickly. So you think you'd want to go with copper for a kit such as this. Because most of the parts, the fittings, the radiators are also copper, you have instant uh, expandability right there. So what's the answer then? Simple. Money. Bottom line, aluminum costs less, and this cost reduction has allowed EK to produce a full liquid cooling kit at an affordable price. So if you follow the money, hey, this is what you're going to get. Aluminum's cheaper and, and to, to manufacture as a metal, and it's getting you a, a nice starting point, right? So you have a kit there. So then the next question, what is the goal of this product? To compete with the closed loop market, such as those offered by Corsair and NZXT at a competitive price point. This 240 millimeter kit was only $159.99. That's basically on par with what's out there for similar closed loops. But going with a closed loop means you're probably interested in liquid cooling, but you don't want to deal with all the complexities that come with buying parts for and then installing a loop. I mean, there is a lot to think about, and here in this kit, EK provides you with everything. Radiator, tubing, fittings, block, etc. This leads us to one more question. Who exactly is this product for? And I kind of already hit on that already. People who want to get into custom liquid cooling, but maybe don't know what to buy or where to start, and maybe they don't have the confidence to part out a full loop's worth of parts, or maybe they don't have the budget for a full custom loop or one of the more expensive options that EK offers. EK has already a whole line of kits like the A240. So is this kind of causing redundancy? Not really, because the price of those kits is anywhere from for a similar uh, radiator size, anywhere from 40 to hundreds of dollars more. Essentially, I'd say the fluid gaming product line is for those entering into a world of PC liquid cooling. You're putting something together rather than just installing another cooler. You're screwing in the fittings, hooking up the tubing, and pouring in the liquid. For those who like to tinker, want to get as much performance as they can out of their PC, and are novices to liquid cooling, I think the fluid, uh, fluid gaming line from EK is an affordable option and a great starting point. I do hope EK comes through, provides more ALU parts, and it will be really kind of like a budget cooling solution. Uh, I don't think it will eat into their own budget, or excuse me, their own product line of copper parts. I think it will provide an alternative, a more affordable one, um, but the real enthusiasts know, you know, go with copper, so they'll still spend that money. 
So yeah, so this has been the unboxing of the EK Fluid Gaming A240 liquid cooling kit. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like if you liked it, just like if you didn't. Let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. I will be installing this into my own rig eventually and doing some comparisons between my H100i, as I already mentioned, and the cooling that this can do. And this will actually be my first custom liquid cooling setup. So it's an adventure for me as well. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.